Welcome to Read Ancient Languages, I'm Dr. Fausto Labruto. Today we travel to the Vatican in Rome, Italy, where this magnificent church, St. Peter's Basilica, stands. Every year this site is visited by millions of tourists. In the Basilica there are numerous works of art, including painting and statues. Today I will concentrate on one of the many beautiful statues and on the Latin inscription which surmounts it. The statue, sculpted by Italian Francesco Mocchi, in the 17th century, depicts Saint Veronica of Jerusalem. Why does the saint in the statue hold a veil? We will be able to figure this out by reading the Latin inscription which surmounts it. This is the test of the inscription. The discipline which studies inscriptions on monuments, walls and tombs is called the epigraphy. If you wish to read a Latin epigraph, a good place to start is its final line, if it shows a date. So here we read Anno Jubilei and then a Roman numeral, which means in the year of the Jubilee 1625. For the rest of the text, it is useful to find the subject of the sentence, which must be in the nominative case. In this particular inscription, the subject of the sentence is Urban the Eighth, Pont Max, which is an abbreviation for Pontifex Maximus, the Supreme Priest, a title which is attributed to the Pope to this day. Next, we read what Pope Urban did. Conditorium extruxit et ornavit. He constructed and embellished this reliquary, Conditorium. Next, we find the conjunction ut, which explains us why he did this. Ut loci majestat decenter custodiret, which means so that the dignity of its situation could adequately preserve. And then we find out what. Salvatoris imaginem the image of the Savior. Veronice sudario exceptam received on the veil of Veronica. So the whole sentence in English reads, Urban VIII, Supreme Pontiff, constructed and embellished the reliquary so that the dignity of its situation could adequately preserve the image of the Savior received on the veil of Veronica in the year of the Jubilee, 1625. In fact, According to Christian tradition, Saint Veronica wiped the face of Jesus on his way to his uh, execution, and the veil used to wipe his face carried an image of his face, which has been preserved in, in Rome as a reliquia, a sacred remain, since the 8th century. So next time you visit Rome and St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican, make sure you admire this magnificent statue and you will be able to read the inscription dedicated to the sacred reliquia of the veil with the face of Christ. Thank you for listening to Read Ancient Languages. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for updates.